Good morning everyone and welcome to today's tutorial. It has been 10 days since we posted another video about uh, designing in KiCad and I have been going through the internet and receiving some messages in my inbox about how to upload uh, libraries on uh, KiCad. Sometime you want to design a project in KiCad and uh, you come across uh, a, a, a component that has no libraries in KiCad. That is from the symbols, footprints, and the 3D design. And today, this is where I'm going to lead you how to do it. So let us get started. I show you how you can get the components, where you can get them, the already designed components, the symbols, that is the footprint, the, the, the symbol, and the 3d design so we are going to get started as quick as possible i show you where i always get my component uh, i come here and i go to uh, snap magic i go to snap magic and then i search my symbol i download it and i upload it to KiCad. so when you come to snap magic uh, like this uh, you can uh, search for your symbol the way you want it, uh, the symbol that you want to download. For example, we have our symbol here. This is a these are two. These are connector block or a terminal block uh, that you want to use in our design. So you come here, you check at it. This is a 3D appearance. When you look at the symbol and the footprint you come to this uh, site and then you download your symbol and footprint you come down here you download symbol and footprint like that and then you select your software that you're using that is the eda software for example here we are using KiCad, so you select KiCad, and then you you download the version six and later versions like that so you can see it's converting and then it will download automatically So it's done it's downloaded so that's our footprint and the symbol as you can see it's there it's downloaded then you can download your 3d model also because you will have to use your 3d model again to load it onto your software so you download the 3d model like that it's downloading then after you are, you are done with your downloading you come back here then you go to downloads Okay. like that as you can see this one is a zip file so you can unzip it and then you zip to the same same file you extract like that so we have it and open this one we have your you have your credit card mod and then you have your symbol so this is a footprint and then this one is a symbol just like that the two folders like that so again we, we are downloading on our other part which is 3d yes you can see it it, it 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 has been downloaded so you come back again here the downloads you want to confirm that the 3d symbol has been downloaded so you come to desktop like that We can confirm again to download again with the release symbol. Yes, so we can download once again. You can see it never downloaded, so it's done. So we have our 3D symbol that is downloaded. So you can come back here again at the downloads, and then you see this is your 3D symbol. See here. So you can see a 3D symbol is here again. We can extract it. Show our options. You extract to this folder. Yes, like that. To will extract like that. And you can open it like this. It's waiting. Then you have your 3D symbol. This is a step file. So you can copy it. You can copy this step file. Or we can even cut it. And then we come back here to see 
<clears throat> I'm, I'm still showing you how to use this software to upload your libraries on KiCad. Then you come to program files, you check out KiCad, there. Then you can paste your symbol here. Okay. Like this, just continue. Yes, it's done. And then you come back to your Kai card like this. Now let's let's start a new project because you want to upload a symbol. Let me show you how to do it. So we can open a new project like this. Keypad seven. We open our key card. Yes, this is our key card. We want to start a new project. No, or yes, let's start a new project so that we can see that those symbols are not there. So we can save it like Google, like that. Then we save it like that. So we have this project like this. We open uh, the schematic uh, key like that. And then uh, we want to upload uh, to check whether our symbols are there. Let's see the symbol that you want to upload. Let's confirm that it is not on the software. Let's confirm it's not on the software. So we can look at the code of the symbol. What was it? So we downloaded it here. It's something like. Uh, Six nine thirteen. Six nine thirteen. Six nine thirteen. Six nine thirteen. So we come back here. And then the footprint keep loading so that we can check to confirm that the project is not the the symbol is not there. So that we can upload our own symbol and see how it works. So we have some delays in the video. Uh, so we'll keep waiting and see. My laptop is updating some new softwares. And thus there is some a bit of delays in this video recording. But there is no end problem. We, we will still learn. We will learn big time and understand how we can upload these symbols onto KiCad so that next time you don't waste time designing a symbol that is somewhere already designed. You see, you, in KiCad you can still design these symbols, uh, you can design the footprints and so on. But if someone else has designed them for you somewhere, why should you continue wasting time designing them again? So it's 69 13. So you can see we don't have such a symbol. Uh, when, when you come back here, it's 69.13 something. So we can upload this symbol and then we see how you will find it in KiCad. So when you want to upload, you can use this part, you use preference. Let's use this part and then use preference and so on. But I would like us to use uh, this other part like this so we can use this other part for the symbol you come to preference and then manage simple library but you can also come back here and uh, still use the same we have a uh, uh, preference again and then you can manage symbol library and manage uh, footprint in the libraries but uh, i don't i want to upload each individually where uh, we are supposed to upload them so let's come here we use symbol we upload the symbol first so we can manage symbol like this then you come and hit on this folder to add an existing library in your desktop that you have downloaded and then you come to download we have this one is a library that is existing here 
then we can uh, select this one then we can open the file then this is the library that you want to use that is a symbol like that and then you hit ok Then you hit OK and then you wait for a load to upload onto your Kai card. Like that. Then you hit OK here and then you hit OK. Like that. Then you hit OK. Then you come uh, and set a gear at your symbol to see. 6 to 9 13 you can see it's here then you double tap you place it where you want to use it like that and then you can control save so this is a symbol but again when we come back here and try to check out the footprints like this we check out the footprints you can see your symbol has a footprint yes but let's see is this does this footprint has a symbol we come back here and try to check you can see when you check here the footprint is empty so for you to load the footprint it's very simple like ABCD you come here then you you, you manage again preference and then manage footprints like that then you come and add here again and while trying to add you select again the same folder that you downloaded and then you hit OK then after hitting OK you can see now you can uh, very good like that we have uploaded our footprint now let's try to check this one again and then you see the difference symbol here like that and then even before I proceed with anything else already we can see the footprint is here it has been uploaded but the footprint that has been uploaded here is not a uh, you can try to view it and then you see what is happening here. So you can see the footprint has been uploaded. But do you like it? I don't think so. So you come back here and try to do something else. So 6913 J1. You can come try to, to search it in the footprint itself here. Yeah. Get something 6913, 6913, 6913, like that. Mm -hmm. Like that. Then we can view again and see whether there is some changes. So you can see now this is not actual symbol the way the footprint should look like so you see we have now uploaded the footprint and we are good to go this is a footprint for and uh, this is what we had downloaded and we are good to go but now again we can try to check something else so let's uh, let, let's do like this and then we continue okay so we have the footprint but when you, you go to 3d design Let's see something else, whether we have the symbol that is intact. We see what we should be lacking. So let's wait for it to respond. It's loading. very nice and then we we update our schematic it was schematic then we hit close like that so this is our footprint the way it is let's try to see it uh, in 3d 3d view in the d view and then we see now you can see our symbol or our footprint has no 3d view on it 
and uh, therefore we can try and upload the 3D view here and see what will change. Now we downloaded our 3D view to manage 3D view, we'll come again to preference here, you manage footprint library, then uh, we want to we can add there, but again, it's not a must. So you can come here on top of this one and then hit E, that is for edit, like that. And again, if you don't want to use that one E for edit, you can come here and then right click, then you select uh, edit properties. Where is it, 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 where is it? this one properties. Okay, if you don't want to use uh, shortcuts, use that long way then you come to 3d models then we had placed our 3d model uh, at a folder known as KiCad in our uh, this one KiCad then it uh, it's numbered okay, let's see it. then you can add. it's numbered 69 okay it's this one like that you can see the way we used to see it uh, before we downloaded from Snapeda, this is the symbol. Hit it okay like that. Okay. Then now you can do some settings here. You can offset. You can offset now from Z axis like this. Like that. But as you can see, these are the, uh, the pin. This one is a horizontal, uh, so you can try to rotate it, rotate it, access it, access it, access it, like that. And then we can offset it again, Y, Y axis, like that. Then you can now offset along Y axis, like that. Then you can see our symbol is nicely placed. We have set everything uh, according to standard as expected from us. And then after that, you can hit enter or OK. Then we can come and try and uh, view it here, 3D view. Then we see our symbol, how it looks like. So as you can see, that's how to load the symbols uh, for prints and uh, 3D objects or stack files into our uh, card software. Thank you very much for letting us keep watching. We are here to provide you with much, much more video, much more content in the card and any other software that is not covered by engineers. If you are learning from this channel, subscribe, view, watch, comment, and uh, request for other videos and we shall be providing you with us many as possible videos in future thank you very much and keep following us goodbye for now